so let's take a look at these stairs and really kind of see. So there's a lot of places where I've got slabs. Oh, these are all slabs. Okay, so this is really steep. Interesting. So I did the opposite. I kind of smoothed out the top on the other side. So smooth stone, gravel, and cobble. No bricks. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to switch to not have bricks once we're past the stairs. Okay. I think I have an idea. Well, that looks okay. Hmm. I think I have an idea how I can fix the other side. I also want to do I also want to do a tree. Yeah, I guess it depends on what you're doing, Tiger Pro. You're right. Um, like last time on the stream, well, I guess no, last weekend on the stream, we did we built these stairs, and that was a huge addition. Then on the stream on Friday night, all we did was just texture this and maybe work a little bit on the road. We, I don't think I really did much more than that. It was um, it's kind of a long slog. But let's just, uh, what did I want to bring with me? Perch leaves. All right, don't need that. Uh, sapling. I don't think I want to do a custom tree. Or if I do, I'm just going to like tweak a Minecraft tree. Um, Trying to think about what else I could do here. Smooth stone, gravel, and cobble. Could put some of this away. Yeah. Actually, let's uh, turn some of these into slabs. Can't remember who it was that mentioned it. I'm, I think it was either, I think it might have been you, Tiger Pro, for slabs. Yeah, conduits do make it easy. I don't have a conduit yet on the server. I haven't really been doing a lot of 1.13 content. I've been watching a lot, but I haven't done a lot myself. We have a huge coral reef, and I've we already have an ocean monument on the server, so I don't need Prismarine or anything. However, I found a double ocean monument on the server. And I'm re I really, I really want to go and have some fun with that. Um, I just haven't yet. Okay. I think we can, okay. So here we can say that's against the rules. So let's get rid of that. And let's do smooth stone there. Actually, let's free up this inventory spot that and then we can do I guess the idea here we can just kind of speckle things around like smooth stone and then that maybe there and then we can do gravel and cobble And then we can also come in with mossy cobble. And then maybe, I guess we can do some more gravel down here. I'm also thinking that the other path had a lot of grass in it. Hmm, maybe not this one. It's pretty. 
pretty good, but I feel like when it gets low, like smaller than three, it starts to look a little on the weak side. Was that there already? Yes. Yeah, like that's okay. I feel like we need something else here though. Yeah, that's right. We do have the smooth stone slabs and I forgot to bring this guy, the, the two concretes. Because I think that's a way to keep it looking like a path without um, messing with the, the edges of it too much. So like we could do like that and then this could be cobble. Although that's an awful obvious pattern. Let's uh, move these two. Let's see here. That and I think I was saying that I like these better when they're off to the side. And we could maybe try uh, one of the smooth stone. Don't know if this is gonna be too light. Like, yeah, like it feels too polished to me. Like it's too, it's too manufactured, not worn down enough where this has like a more traveled feel. I'm also thinking that maybe we can try. No, not at all. Try grass here. We're going to run into the same problem where we've got the edge of the path. That's not the edge of the path. Um, I don't even remember what that was. I think it was just smooth stone. Yeah, so we're gonna run into that same that same issue. But I think we can do at least put some of the concrete here. Whoops. And hmm. See, here we can be, probably get a slab in. That might be what this section needs. Nope. Yeah, that's just, for whatever reason over here, it just, it's reading is really bright. Really, really bright. Hmm. And just try this here. Whoops. Selling a nether portal kit in your shop. Flint and steel plus obsidian. Hmm, how many blocks in the kit? 10 or 14? Oh, I would do 14. Uh, price? Hmm. I get the thing about price, it really depends on the server. Like, I don't need diamonds, and I feel like it's almost a little bit silly for us on the server that's been going for like a year to have a store that asks for diamonds. What I would rather do is sell stuff in the shop and then ask for things that are a pain in the butt for me to gather, you know, like glass or sand or gravel or those kind of things. I think that's, that's normally where I would, you know, so fine. Like, what are you building right now? Do you have, do you have a, a resource that you're short on uh, Ranger? Cause then 
then you know what you need and you could use that to say like, hey, I need this. I need a lot of it. Uh, I think we need to push these back. You know, maybe it's wool. Wool's a pain to get or dye, flowers and dye and stuff. We might finally be in a spot where we can put like a grass bit. Uh, gravel. Yeah, that works better, doesn't it? It still feels really perfect, which is what I don't like. I think I'm using too many blocks. Hmm. Even this has like a line to it. Oh well. Uh, let's just maybe do this. Uh, and then, hmm. I wanted to do that thing where you push it back like this, but we just did that here. So maybe we just do regular. Or maybe a smooth stone. While we're here, we should probably plant the tree. And I think what I'm going to do is to get a little bit of extra height out of the tree. I'm going to do this. Don't, I think this will work. I think this will still grow. We'll find out. We shall see. I'm curious actually, if that's gonna work the way that I think. Three hours digging out obsidian uh, pillars in the end. Wow, we haven't done that yet because um, we're still fighting the dragon like we respawn the dragon multiple times we're still opening up gateways all right so now we have to get from there to here and this this specifically has a, has a line to it and i kind of want to mark this off i feel like this is going to be a good line i don't necessarily want to go straight so then maybe we approach it there. That's a decent curve. And then this, that, and then I guess here. Nope, there. don't know if I'm gonna go up high with this like I don't know if I want to go up like start to have like a, a raised section could be kind of fun but for now actually no because we're we're using full blocks not half slabs god I was so close I was like eureka moment no nope, no not so much uh yeah so let's this is where we need to get to So I guess we can just take all of this out. So one. I think I'm just going to outline this and see what we can come up with. Hmm. 
Hmm. If anybody's ever looking to do some a good road, then a good trick is to use like one, two, two, and then when you need to curve the other way, you put some ones and then you start to go in the other direction. But then on the other side of the road, you do the same thing, but you offset it. So your one is here and then your two is there. It tends to work out pretty well. One, two, and then this is going to be another two, I think. Well, I guess then it just then it just goes straight. Yeah, uh, Ranger, I know that it respawns the, the pillars every time. Um, we just, we don't want to mine them for the obsidian. We want to mine them to get rid of them. So I need that. That's two. That's one. I think that looks pretty good, although... I think maybe we need to push this by by one. Yeah, feeling pretty good. So the last time we placed an awful lot of blocks. So let's try being a little bit less, I guess, trigger happy this time. we find spots for these that are not super obvious like maybe there get one on the inside back here maybe oh I guess that should be like a Remember that the edges, we can do the mossy, mossy bits. It's kind of going at random, like I'm not really, not really thinking too hard about it. I think maybe underneath the tree, though, we could have more, more mossy stuff than not. Feel like maybe more smooth stone. Mm -hmm. 
So I get to remember that we can also put down some grass. Hmm, not there. Hmm. Maybe not there. Maybe there. I feel like we can maybe get away with a stone brick there. All right, getting dark. Oh, hey, that worked out well. It's funny that I was trying to get a taller tree and I ended up with an even taller tree. It's dark right here, isn't it? So, interesting. So I think we will make this a custom tree. I like the way that it's rolling so far. And I spotted something on my way back here a second ago. This tree is messed up. That is all kinds of nope. So let's... Just kind of trim that back there. I think we can maybe still put some of it back. Can okay, beef it up a little bit. Oh, I see there's some stuff on the top. It looks like it might be missing too. That's a little bit better. Hmm. Yeah, fair enough. Cheers, Ranger. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the follow as well. Uh, what was I doing here? Oh, right. I wanted to grab this. So the idea was to be able to be able to uh, have a default tree that then is just like super tall. And now, pardon me, we can kind of play with the canopy a little bit. And so when you're coming in here, this could be quite covered. So we could do something like, I don't know, uh, like that, and then squeeze one in there. I don't, I don't have any idea what this is going to look like. It's one of those things that have to be like a trial and error thing. Yeah, and we might be able to mess around with uh, some vines, get them to look look good, or tree branches as well. Like we can actually make this look like it's got a little bit of an extra extra branch. Actually, this is an opportunity. Do I have any? I wonder if I have any over there. I know I have some back of the barn, but I, the, the all over bark logs, this could be fun. Do I have some? Does not look like it. Let's go get some of those. One rocket is sometimes not quite enough to make it all the way back to the barn. I 
feel like I can probably dump some grass in my inventory too. Yeah. Let's do that. And, ooh. Acacia birch leaves. More birch. Grab a little bit more oak while we're here. And all over logs. Go. I've got spruce fences down there, so that should be enough. Yeah, for whatever reason, the meadows has just expanded south, like almost in a straight line. Like it's just it's just this long kind of like from that mountain all the way down here, just one straight line. I mean, straight, generally speaking. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about these path stairs. They're okay. They're okay. Ooh, this is going to create a lot of shadows. We may, this is where we may want to put like a light or something underneath the base of it, like down in a bush. Uh, but what I'm thinking for this is we could do, is this going to point the right way? Nope, it is not. Oh, come on. These are weird. I'm still not used to how they place. There we go. So we do something like that. And then maybe I'm okay with seeing the end of the log sometimes. Like sometimes that actually looks okay. You know, I don't mind it so much. Uh, especially because then you can do you can do stuff like this. And still, it still sort of makes sense, you know? Makes it kind of helps it a little bit. I do want to put something there, but I also want to make sure that this has got a little bit more beef underneath it. Like that. Maybe there too. Yeah, that's not too bad. Again, I don't I don't do trees, Cer and certainly not. This would not be the first thing that I would attempt. I would I would try to do a custom spruce tree before I did anything else. I really need to to install and do a, a walkthrough of of biome bundle for fun. I think that would be good. Looks like some of the trees that you've seen in the park, Cosmic Dancer. I will take that as the doing it right. <laughs> we'll take that to the bank. Uh, what we can do though, and what I want to do is I think I want to use that all over bark block to do like a root, like there, and then maybe like that. Oh, hmm. I think we have to change the direction on this. Although this is the kind of situation where I don't need the all over one. I can much easier predict the direction if I use that. And then do it here too. So what I was thinking is that I could also use some spruce fences and have it look like it's got like a root system. Because then we could also put one of these all over jobbies here. Uh, oh, hmm. maybe not there. We will, however, put that there. Just in case it gets exposed later. I don't know where I'm actually going to be putting this, this bush. But I'm liking, liking that. I'm kind of... It's weird, I kind of want that to go into the tree, but at the same time, it then ruins this this flow. I don't know, what can, can I do if I do this? Or change this to be... Nope, same thing. How about there? Yeah, it looks better. Looks better going the other way. That. So here I might actually change this into a set of stairs. 
um, just because I think it'll look just a little bit better. It's still I think I have a plank texture, but um, I think it'll just it'll cut down this really hard corner. Uh, you can do roots like this, I find, on the big like two by two trees. But if I go grab, I think I brought my wood box over here. Yeah. So grab a set of stairs, and then what can I put back? Let's put that back. I would just grab like a few a few fences for potential roots, because spruce wood and oak logs have essentially the same color, right? So that sort of looks like a curved curved root, and then we can do that and one there. And what's cool thing about this is that with a the stair there, it doesn't connect to the stair, which I think is nice. Uh, and then now what can we do? I'm trying to think about what we could put there that it won't connect to, but I can't really think of anything right now. Interesting. Uh, did I mean, no. The other thing is that I wanted to try and I've watched Scar do some really cool stuff with trees. I don't quite understand how he does it. Like that doesn't look at all like what I want it to be. Like I'm okay with that being cut off. Like that's fine. It's, I wanted to have, I don't know, something a little bit more, but anything I do just looks strange, you know? He was doing some cool stuff with like fence gates. But yeah, well now I can't see. So I feel like the nights are flying by now, going through a lot of time. I'm going to have to pull the stream to a close soon. Almost dinner time. But I want to get I want I think I want to finish this top section uh to cut before I move on. Uh, can I this way? Ha, learning, picking her up. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe I can't put it there. I guess, oh wow, this is tricky. Well, I guess we could, okay, mental note, that's a, that's a slab. We could do this. Like that. And then one more down. And birch leaves here and here. But before I do that, Oh, that's going to ruin that face. You know what? That's probably okay. I was going to turn this into a concrete, but then I'm going to lose the grass behind that one. And that's going to be a pain. Yeah, so for now, I think that's what we're going to do. i got to put the slab back, though. So that'll bring at least a little bit more light into this area. Plus we've got one over here. Yes. Uh, but we're going to need something probably like right there, which is easy enough to do actually. And we'll go with maybe some oak. So it's underneath this tree. Yeah, so we're gonna need a light right here too. There. So this is an opportunity where we could potentially put like a torch sconce or something, but I'm trying to keep all the torches on the right-hand side when you're going south. Uh, so I don't wanna mess with that too much. Um, just to kind of keep it consistent. I think maybe we can go with grass here Let's see gravel cobble smooth
<laughs> that's a there's a that's a weird update, huh? I guess it's coming from my torch in my hand because of Optifine. There's some some Optifine stuff that's really bizarre. Uh, hmm. Cobble, smooth stone, gravel. See, like that's working okay. I think having these the, the grassy bits at the edge makes a lot of sense. I think we can get away with some mossy stuff though. Hey, Jared, how's it going? Uh, yeah, stream has been great so far. Um, we are currently south of the inn. Uh, you can see it right there. So we're doing the path on the uh, west side of the bridge. So we've been working on this for, I don't know, a few hours now. Thanks, man. I'm glad you like it. You know what? I think I'm just going to replace this with grass. I don't know if we could work any path in here though. It's the only thing. And this feels like it's too much in a line. So let's remove this and switch it. There and here. And whoa, wow, yeah, this, that's weird. Um, oh, here's an opportunity to use that um, cobblestone wall thing that we don't have with us. Uh, or we could do, we could do something like this too. I have stairs. I do have stairs. You know, just a just a little bit of a bump. I don't like the two. I feel like we have to go do this. In order to get that right. Um, where's my mossy brick? Is it gone? Yeah, okay. Oh, you joined the other the stream the other day too? Yeah, uh, that was a short one, so I I can understand how how it was easy to miss to miss that stream. Um, and unfortunately, I'm not going to be streaming for a whole lot longer today either. Uh, what do I want to do here? Maybe switch these. Put in some mossy cobble. That's really bright. For whatever reason, it doesn't seem to be too bad over here, but it just it, at the top of the stairs, it seems like it's a weird, weird thing to have. Pick it up, please. Wow, there we go. Yeah, this is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. The other thing we need to do is is do some more stairs. We need to do some more of these type of things. Try to take chunks out. Don't know if that's the right spot for it, but we could certainly do it in places where we've got a lot of cobble, like here. Actually, I think maybe this way. Yeah. And then I 
feel like because it's taking a chunk out, we could break the rules and use the the stairs. Although maybe not next to that one. Nope. This is not not working up here the same way it did before, is it? Oh, I'll be on for a little bit. I'm not running right this second. Um I had originally just wanted to finish this top part, but I, I think I might wanna I wanna at least get a solid idea about like where this is going. I'll probably at least mow down the grass and and plan it out a little bit better. Um, I'm just thinking that I want, want more happening here. I don't know. I don't know if I want this to get wider. You know, like, I wonder if this is what the problem is. Like maybe we actually keep this grass, but we add in like that. Nope. See, and then I feel like this has to get pushed back. Well, unless I do this. There's an opportunity here to have a, uh, like a wall. We could actually do like a small small wall uh, what could we do we could do something like that and then do I have any stairs left yeah that up into like an actual brick sort of deal back down into a slab. I know it's getting dark. We'll have to do something about that here. Let's put like, whoops. Just maybe switch these around mossy and then you know, like just enough to kind of hint that there was something there at some point. Although maybe the whole thing gets pushed up by one block. I think that might be the way to go. I'm gonna go sleep though before I get uh, visited by a creeper. I should probably move the bed. Uh, you know, originally it was going to be an underground area, area Jared, but I think uh, I'm going to switch it up. I think it's going to go above. So originally I was going to take the path and it was going to curve down this way. And I was going to take it right through here. And we were going to go under this. But I like stairs and I like winding stairs. So I decided to do this instead. So that's where we are. It's going to be not friendly at night, though. I can tell you that much. Okay. That's like three skeletons in the last two minutes. I think it's because I'm now working my way down the path. So, like, up here is now farther than, than 16 blocks away. Yeah, so some of this is still pretty straight. Like, I'm not super happy with this section here. But, I mean, the easiest thing to do might be to just make it wider. Like, just put a little bit of extra stuff in the side of it. Like, we could probably take that out, take that out. Maybe put in some grass here. And then go back to cobble, gravel like 
up there. I guess there's nothing against having two gravel in a row, right? That sort of works. So yeah, I don't like this though. I want to like it, but I do not. Something about this isn't sitting well with me either. Maybe we need another like a stone brick. Yep, that seems to work. I kind of want to come back and do stuff like this too. Like I want to purposely have um, some grass like actually growing in the middle of it. Just to kind of push it that little bit. But I think what we were going to do was move this whole thing down by one. That goes there. This gets bumped. So I've been streaming for at least two hours, probably closer to three. And this is the first time that I remember, I'm remembering hearing music. And I've had the music on in the game the whole time. And it always plays the same stuff. Like I wish they would go through the whole track list, but I do need to sort that out. I need to to really figure out the best way to pump some music into the stream so it's not silent all the time. Yeah, I think a lot of the skeletons uh, cosmic dancer came in overnight or spawned at night when I was running back to the bed. Thanks, Jared. Yeah, I like I like the height change as well. I I was mentioning early in the stream uh, before we came back by that I really like I really enjoy the challenge of um, maintaining the landscape. Like some stuff is just ugly, like these stupid little pools and stuff. Um, but there's stuff that I just I really want to maintain, and rather than like mowing this all flat like i could easily just have another set of stairs coming down here you know just go down down to that level and then take it over to this bridge our goal is to hit that that torch over there so you know take it down this way but i'm thinking like just because of this weird little like four wide um thing that we've got the challenge of building in an angle uh, i mean i probably will mow this down you know take this down just like that you know, just to kind of go buy it. But I think here we could have a really fun opportunity of having like almost an angled land bridge where I, I'm tempted to go at a 45, but I don't want to, I don't want it to be perfect. So I'm thinking about having like some higher edges, like slabs along the edge. Uh, at that point, I might actually make this a little bit steeper. Like I might bring this, might bring this out, you know, to here. So that it's it's just it's always like these little I call them like a cubert slope, you know, where it looks like the old game cubert. Um and just that way it's got like an edge, like so you can't just easily just hop on and off. You have to take the path. Or the easiest course of action is to take the path if you're not flying everywhere. So I am feeling that this is pretty distracting here. I'm wondering if we can maybe find opportunity to put some more grass in here. Hmm. I wonder if this will work. We put grass here. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, cobble. And then maybe we'll switch these two. Oh, no, I want to, let's do cracked and yeah. I think that's the other thing I, I should be doing more is having more cracked bricks. Maybe that's where I'm getting stuck. 
you know, trying to figure out what textures I should have. And I feel like I could probably have more, more cracked brick like here. And somewhere, maybe here too. Whoops, not there. Cool, thanks for stopping by, man. And if you ever miss the streams, I do upload most of them to YouTube. If they're if they're really slow, I don't necessarily know if it's a good thing to upload the stream replays to YouTube, but um, you can always catch the replay here on Twitch. It stays up for two weeks. I'm an affiliate, but not a partner, so they eventually go away. But uh, for now, you can, you can see the VOD almost immediately. And then within a couple of days, it's usually up on Twitch and I've edited out the breaks. I've edited out the, the big pause at the beginning, you know, when I'm just kind of getting set up and then there's music at the beginning and the end and stuff like that. So you can always check them that way too. Uh, I came back here for something and I don't remember what it was. It might've been just to put stuff away. Yeah, it's really dark here. Really, really dark. Even with this lamp, this light here. So we need to do something about that for underneath here. Um, the other trick I wanted to try and exploit is this trick here. Now this is a really cool, it's a tree that actually is sprouted and touching the ground with on all fronts. So I kind of want to turn it into just like a big hedge. So I'm wondering what this would look like. If we did, I'm not going to do it all just right yet, but if we did like this kind of stuff, maybe a little bit too much. Yeah. Thought it might look cool, but it does not. Uh, but what I wanted to try was like more of this stuff here where we could potentially so we're gonna need lights up here too. So we could probably do a light underneath this birch tree. I'm gonna have to repair my tools soon. Uh, I don't have any birch to come back and get that. So then maybe if there's a birch leaf there, then that and Maybe get away with this. Actually, I want to switch this for grass first. There we go. That sort of works. I mean, people are going to be walking by this and not necessarily looking at it at all. So not terribly worried about it. Yeah, cool, man. Anytime, Jared. Anytime. Uh, birch. One good thing about coming back here to sleep every time is that you get to walk the path. I've been running, but maybe, maybe this time we'll take it slow and just kind of see what we need to do. Grab some more carpet. I feel like that could come in handy. I also want to grab some gray carpet. So we are back to inventory capacity. So this feels straight, like you can't see that. So let's change this into a stair. That's better. Now, what could we do? Again, it's super dark here. So this is all stepped, yeah. Hmm. I don't know if I wanna put like a bush. Like I think a bush here is just gonna to be too narrow. 
See, it's not even dark. It just needs a lighting update. It's really weird. It must be Optifine. When I light this place properly, I'll have to come back without Optifine and just kind of see what it looks like. I want to do something here and I'm wondering if maybe just, you know, grass would be enough. So that's looking pretty good. There needs to be something here maybe. And then maybe we could take this bush out. Oh, is this a spot where we need a light? No, we've already got one. But we could easily do something like that. Uh, no, that looks really, really sparse. There definitely needs to be something going on back there. Again, probably more grass. I'm sure when I come through here with some bone meal, things will start to look a lot better. What could we do here? Hmm. So this is growing on me. I did want to see what this would look like with a carpet instead of a slab. It's the best, it's the thinnest gray thing I have. All right, stream decision time. Do we like the carpet? Or the slab. I know there's only a handful of handful in the stream, but chime in. Slab or carpet? I suppose I could use the carpet to try and make this a little bit more some height variation. The problem is that it makes the funny noise if you happen to walk over it, then it makes that kind of you know that weird carpet noise like this. Well, maybe it doesn't. I lied. Oh, it's wool that does that, not carpet. If I had wool like embedded in in the ground there, then uh, then that's what would happen. I just <laughs> flint is something I definitely do not need. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, you know what? I think. As much as I do want grass coming out of the path, I think we maybe have to keep it to the edges. So I think if I do this, that's probably the better spot for it. Actually, I lied. Yep, that's better. I feel like I feel like I want another tree over here. So let's just say a tree goes there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Like it's not 100% done. It's the kind of thing that you kind of pick at every time you walk over it. Um, I do kind of want to do something here. Okay. And maybe what could I do? Maybe I just knock this down. Or maybe I build it up. Nope. Absolutely not that. Hmm. This is the kind of fiddling where like I had absolutely no intention of getting to this point with it, but Nope, I think back the way it was was probably just fine. Stream vote one carpet. Joel vote one carpet. Victor, carpet. We'll leave it, we'll leave it carpet for now. No, definitely not more grass. Uh, bush, maybe bushes, bushes. Hmm. 
maybe. Solid maybe, maybe not so many. Oh, here's an opportunity where we could put, potentially have like two different kinds of bushes where I could then take this. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's fine by me. And then maybe we could just do this. I know this seems like an insane amount of detail for a path that people are going to mostly fly over, but... I don't know. I just, I like, um, it's one of the things about this game I really enjoy is landscaping. I find it a very chill way to kind of relax and enjoy playing some video games, but not have it be like super intense. Um, we also need to go get some more of this green concrete powder. Let's see if we can't pepper that around a little bit more. Get that mossy, mossy feeling on the go. I guess I should probably keep some carpet. I feel like there was a spot up here. Yeah, that works. I, I feel like this is really straight. Maybe we can do this. Hmm. Or maybe we just bring this out. Actually, that, that works. I'm okay with that. Yeah, the leaves next to the path uh, do a lot, Cosmic Dancer. I agree. Um, I'm actually thinking that maybe we can do it here too. So like we could use I gotta be real careful here. I don't want my shovel to die. That, and then switch to that. And then maybe put that up there like this with um, maybe Nope. If I was gonna put the wall here, I would push it back one more block. which we could do, getting rid of that, and then put a cobble there. Is this a spot where we could use a light? Probably is. Um, yes, let's do, Go down here. That, and then we could do another thing. You know, have the darker bush underneath. And then here we can use the green concrete. It's getting dark again in this game. And then back to grass. Does that work? I think if we do that, we have to add Yeah, that doesn't really work, does it? My idea was to have the grass or the bush 
come up that way, but it's really not really not what I want it to be. I guess we could. No, I don't want to do that because then you're gonna see underneath it. I do have to replace that grass though. Yeah. Dislike. Destroy. I do want that there though. So maybe we just have the one without the whole wall situation. We just have like the one, one bush that goes back by two blocks. Whoops. Wraps around there like that. It's not perfect. It's better than the first try. And maybe this is where we can put that concrete just to kind of keep it green the whole way long. Yeah, that's okay. So I think the last thing I want to do is uh, go across the top of that, uh, that that land bridge that we saw at the end of the path and just kind of map out kind of what I want to do there. So I'm not going to do anything fancy. This is going to be like the bare bones kind of stuff let's put that there i'll never find that again but whatever so don't need mossy or cracked Ooh, birch i need to fix the birch tree that so these these stairs that and we're probably going to need just a lot of slabs oh well, thanks cosmic dancer i'm glad that you're learning a lot i'm just picking up stuff i'm not even regurgitating stuff that i've watched people uh do online or hear people do online like or hear, hear people say like I watching Janzi and Scar, I think are the two, the two main people that I would pick up my landscaping tips from. And most of it is just looking at their block palettes and like what they're doing and how they're, how random it is. Like it's really all over the place for stuff to look good. They really tend to just, um, really have a lot of random blocks. So let's just go right ahead and put in like a three by three landing up here. And then, so this is the way that we wanted to go. I think the thing to do is going to be to just map out the center with, um, do I have wood? Yeah, let's just do this. I don't want to run all the way back. Thought I heard a creeper. Uh, I need more cobble slabs. So I'm thinking we can just, like, I like the idea of this kind of going at an angle like this. So where do I want it to come out? All right. Grass time. This is going to be crazy loud. So there we can kind of see the path and I'm thinking that I want to push this a little bit farther. Like I don't want it to be so short. I want it to go all the way to here and then maybe we'll start the stairs 
here. So we can always just kind of come down here like this. And I think maybe we'll do two at a time. So I think this is just gonna be a real, real ugly for now. Oh, I just, okay, did that wrong. These are gonna be half steps. So let's just grab this. So we're up here. This may end up changing. don't know if I want this to be straight. Thinking no, I'm thinking I probably want this to come over one block, every stair. Yeah, try that, something different, why not? Fill this to back in. How does that look from up top? I think one of the keys for making paths is, um, for me, finding key features, things that you want to be an experience like this land bridge and then this kind of like angled staircase and then once you know where those features are putting in the paths to connect them like i feel like this might be enough of a of a change here where i need to find where my bridge landing is because that's the other thing you know you want your bridge to be here and if this is going to be like the spot where you get on the bridge then You want to make sure you can see that from wherever you are building your path. This is going to be a lot simpler than the other bridge that we made, but just to kind of have, I don't even know if it's going to be brick. It's, it could be wood. I, I might try to change it up a little bit, but then we're probably going to have at least a three by three. So then we've got to get the base of these stairs, which are kind of coming in this direction. So yeah, I feel the curve is probably going to be more gentle. Get rid of some of this stuff. And I think I might just switch to using blocks as opposed to slabs, just because slabs are such a pain. So let's do one, two, three, three. Yeah, that's not gonna get us over there, is it? So I guess we have to do two, two, one. That's better. So the way I'm just trying to think about how to do this curve and I think it's going to be a lot steeper. So I think maybe we start off with like two off the start and then one and then one and then maybe another one and then we can switch.
Yeah, that's not doing too bad. Because then we could have like another another three. So this part I'm probably going to build back up. Like I, I don't think I want to come down, down and then back up again. So I think for here, we can just do this. And have this be solid. That that still doesn't get us there, does it? So maybe instead of threes, these are just all twos. Bit of a straight line. Not bad. I didn't want to lose too much of this, but a good chunk of it might have to go. So question is, if we continue this down, See, at this point, I think I might, I might just straighten it out. Like I think at this point here, we'll stop bumping it over to the side just because we do kind of line up with things like that. And we can, we can mess with it a little bit. I just kind of wanted to have an idea. I think this land bridge is going to be going to be king and then everything else is going to be changed to to make that land bridge look good because it's going to be at a funny angle and i've not really built much at an angle like that before so it should be interesting okay uh last little bit is just going to be i think the top of that land bridge thing and then we can wrap her up So yeah, like I just, I really like this section right here. And I think I'm gonna do like an alternate cobble and stone pattern. Just cause I think that's gonna, so what is the pattern here? We are looking at, hmm. So this is pretty much a 45. So maybe I do go 45 with it. What is going, oh, there. So I'm seeing. Yeah, it's almost like it's got like a three by three. Hmm, tricky. I think maybe I could just use the edge. So it's like two, one, one, probably another two, one, one, and then another two. Does that make sense? might have to go and look at this from above, but I feel like that's the right one. I think what I'll do is I'll put, um, for now, I'll put 
cobble. Actually, smooth stone would be a better way. Better way to do it. So that we can use the stone brick to mark the outside. So the question is, how wide do we want this to be? I think I want at least three. Or two with an edge. It's gonna look like it's almost carved out of out of this out of the mountain. Kind of cool. Ha! Ah, how are how are my British British maths? Are my maths okay? Uh, so we'll do this as a one, and then as a one, and then as a two. Move this. I forgot that I would have seeds in my inventory. Uh, I do not want these seats. Goodbye. Yeah, that feels like a pretty good, pretty solid run. Coming down into it like that. So I think then, how do we repeat that pattern on the other side? I guess this, this ends up being a one. I might end up making this wider, but one, So this would end up being a two, one, one, and then two. So then one and one, and then two, but maybe at this point, Oh, that doesn't work. We'll have to have that. Down there. That does not give us a very wide entrance to it, though. I'm trying not to disturb the landscape too much. So I think maybe at the end here, we have to make an exception uh, and have this just be a one so that the entrance to it is a little bit wider. Because then what we can do is just to kind of give it a, the feel that I want is going to be, I think every other one is going to have a slab on it. And that would mean that here, here, there, there, and there. Yeah, I mean, it's unique. I've never, never quite built something like that before. I mean, we'll see. Cause then we can do some fun stuff like on the, on the outside here, but inside of it, I'm almost just cool with that. Like, I feel like we might just make the whole thing stone bricks and then maybe switch these out for logs or something like we could probably do some stuff to spice this up but then you pop out the side and then you'll have another uh where are we here oh jonathan was online crap i didn't get to say hi was not paying attention and then Again, like we're, we'll texture this later. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know that we need these stairs at an angle. We, we might find that they're gonna work better if they're not so, not so 45, just cause you have to kind of like turn to go through the stairs. Yeah, 
I'll have to I'll have to design the path of that and run it a few times to see what it feels like. But let's just finish up here and maybe do some changes here. And I think we can probably do something like this. And I think maybe a full sort of W. If you're ever building stairs at an angle, using the, the letter, like an upside down W or an M, it's always really handy too. I'm just gonna start using whatever blocks I feel like here, just to kind of fill it in. It's more about shape right now. Get rid of this. I think we're done. We're at least done with the quick mapping. And that can be that, and then we'll put stone there. Yeah, it's like it's a little asymmetrical, but I don't know. We'll we'll get that sorted out. It's going to be a little bit funny to transition from one to the other. I might have to change these stairs. These these may not be so 45. We'll have to maybe do something curved with them. But yeah, so that's the plan. We've got this all the way down here. Kind of curves us out. And then we start to curve back. And then we curve back again this way. Yeah, I don't know. I might, it might be a little bit too windy for my liking. I think maybe a straight, a straight kind of path following the, the cliff side uh, and this might be something where it's going to benefit us to take some of our copious amounts of dirt and just build this cliff up so that it's a it's a pretty steep like this is all just like a sharp drop that could be the way to go but the sun is going down uh, i'm going to leave that crafting bench there i do want to fix this birch thing so we wanted this and then another two birch like that. Yeah, I think that works. Cool, I'm gonna go sleep and get the sun back up. HB, um, you're tuning in just at the end. Why do I only have 720p quality? I just i find that the stream has been buffering when i stream in 1080 i it's probably an old setting i could always try to do 1080 but i i don't know a lot of people that necessarily complain uh about streams in 720 so i have not run into it yet uh it could also affect the performance on my computer i find that optifine and my mac do not always play nicely so that could be another reason uh, I could always test it. I would like to stream in, in 1080p. Uh, if it's something that's doable, then I will certainly look into it. If you have any tips or uh, know someone that has a Mac that has settings for OBS that you could communicate to me, maybe hit me up on Twitter. It's just my name, at Joel Duggan. I would very much appreciate it. Put a bunch of this stuff back. All right. I'm not going to fuss about that right now. Cool. Well, uh, I think I have to call it because I'm getting hungry. But thanks for hanging out, folks. Uh, if you've enjoyed the stream, uh, this is what we worked on today. We had the cobble path or the speckled path, I think, going south of the inn on the bridge. My name is Joel Duggan. This is the Citadel. It's a survival multiplayer server. I uh, do lots of geeky stuff with friends in Minecraft, and uh, I've made a lot of progress today. I'm quite uh, quite happy with it. Uh, if you are coming in to uh, me on Twitch from the Spawn Chunks, then welcome. Uh, I'm glad that you're able to find your way over here. If you're finding me another way, then that's cool too. 
but if not, then hey, why not go and listen to the Spawn Chunks? Uh, you can find it at spawnchunks.com. You can find it by name on your favorite podcast app. And we are interviewing Wells Knight from Hermitcraft tomorrow on the show. Uh, we don't do it live. We'll be uh, recording and then releasing the show hopefully later tomorrow, although it's kind of late uh, for Pixel Rifts in, in Britain. So we may end up releasing the show on Tuesday. Either way, it's going to be a short turnaround and hopefully you will uh, enjoy the interview with Wells. Uh, there are still time for last minute questions, although... At this point in the game, we have a lot of the stuff picked out that we're going to talk to Wells about already. Uh, that's it for me, though. You can find me, as I mentioned, at uh, Joel Duggan on Twitter. You can find me at joelduggan.com if you're interested in any of the artwork and stuff that I do. And of course, YouTube and Twitch is just Joel Duggan. I am very, very easy to find. Uh, but if you do listen to this Bond Chunks or if you do check out any of my other stuff, please leave a comment or a like or uh, drop me a line on Twitter and let me know what you think. Uh, thanks for everything, folks. Really, really fun hanging out, and I will see you next time.